doing a quick video today to show you how to find the VIN on a 50s Cadillac. Anytime you're wanting to verify that the title matches or just find the VIN in order to apply for a title, that's something you got to need to know. So first thing, confirm the year of your car. You can do that either through online search. I'm kind of old school, so I like to use the old spotters guides and just figure out by the styling of the car what year you actually have. The giveaway feature that's unique to the year of this car is this waffle pattern on the little wrap trim there. That confirms it's a 51. You want to open your hood, which we've already done. All your GM cars are also going to have a little firewall tag. This one's been ripped off but the style number is going to start with the model year of the car. So this one would have said 51 starting out. So then you're going to clean up your frame rail. These Cadillacs are going to have a hard stamped VIN on the frame as well as a VIN on the engine itself. So you're just going to clean up, scrape that grease off, and on the 51, stamped up on the top there. Some cars, before they drop the body on, they stamp that VIN, which on these is not actually a VIN because it's not a 17 digit number. It's a serial number back on a car this old. And so there may be a chance, since they stamped these when the frame was separate of the car, that there may be a piece of the inner fender that lays over it if there's a tab this one it's pretty smooth and it's on the outside of the frame so you don't have to deal with that kind of hard to see but on the ends there is a star and you'll want to clean all the way to the end of each end of it beginning and the end just to be able to find that star and the reason for that star is so that somebody doesn't add extra numbers and in that way create a new VIN which obviously fraudulent so this one is got good crisp stamping unmolested this was an Iowa car and so there's always a chance on some of these that come from real salty places that you might have some corrosion in pits you do want to be real careful once you have that thing found that you're using pretty gentle means of cleaning it. You don't want to add scratches that obscure and change those numbers. And I've seen this up into the 60s. I'm not exactly sure when they quit, but I know we had a 60 that was hard stamped on the frame uh, up there just on the top of the rail. So any of these 50s Cadillacs that you got and you're wanting to know where that VIN is, that's where to find it. 